that highlighter slash bro blush highlighter slash blush Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're doing another edition of weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen any of these videos in the past, basically what I do is go through all of the recent beauty releases from the past week or so and decide whether I think I'm going to put them on my wishlist or whether I think they're a total washout. As always, all of my photos are taken and credited by the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page. I throw the photos up here so you can take a look along with me. So let's just go ahead and jump in. The first thing I want to talk about is a new palette, the Pro Palette 4 from Lorac. I absolutely adore the Lorac Pro formula. I have the Lorac Pro 1, 2, and 3, and I have all three of them because they're all different, they're all distinct, the formula is incredible, and they're all unique to my collection. The Lorac Pro 1 is the perfect neutral palette. I think if you have that, you're set for neutrals. You have all the mattes, you have all the shimmers. You know, I have them right here. So I actually just rotated out my weekly palette little container over here, and I have the Lorac Pro 1 right here. You have all of your neutrals. The top row is all mattes, the bottom row is all shimmers. It really is just like a great all-in-one palette. I love this for traveling. The last couple of times I've traveled or gone on trips, I've taken just this palette with me along with like a face palette. I also have the Lorac Pro 2 right here. This is the cool toned version of the palette. You have all your mattes on top, you have all your shimmers on bottom. Again, this is like an all-in-one cool palette. Let me grab the Lorac Pro 3. And the Lorac Pro 3 is your go-to, is your go-to for all your warms. All the top row is matte, the bottom row shimmer, all again. You've got some beautiful terracotta shades, you have this lovely uh, taupe, you have a cool taupe, you have some warm shades, so this is a really good combination of warm and cool tones in here. Honestly, I think they would have been fine just staying with these three, because I'm looking at what they're bringing out as the four. And it's the same warm toned neutral palette that everyone and their mother is coming out with. I have to say I love their formula. I definitely want to swatch this, but I don't think it's necessary. It looks it looks just like the Soft Glam palette. It does. And if you have the Soft Glam, if you have the Naked Heat, if you have any other of the warm neutral palettes that have come out in the last year, I don't think you need this. I think the only people that are going to be going for this are people who don't have any warm tones in their collection or people that are really big collectors who want to finish off their collection. And I will admit, I did think that. I was like, oh, I have one, two, and three. I should look at number four. But I need to stop thinking like that because I honestly don't need these shades. I don't and I need to stop that like collector's mentality when it comes to either the Naked palettes or when it comes to the Lorac palettes. You don't need all of them. So honestly that one is up in the air. I, I really want to see it in person, I really want to swatch it and then after I do that I'll make my decision because from this one picture that I've seen it looks just like soft glam. Moving on, it looks like Cover FX is coming out with the Gold Bar Highlighting Palette. And, I mean, it looks okay. Um, I think it does a good job of catering to multiple skin tones. You have, like, a pearl in the middle, you have a gold on the left, and you have, like, a rose gold or, like, a peachy kind of gold on the right. I'm honestly not in the market for a new highlighting palette. I do have a couple of them. I really don't need any more. And this one just isn't interesting enough to really just grab me if that makes any sense. L'Oreal looks like they're coming out with a new like paradise collection. It's called the Paradise Enchanted. Looks like they have some blushes, an eyeshadow palette. All the blushes look I mean kind of boring if I'm being honest. And then the eyeshadow palette it's just a, not exactly a warm neutral maybe a true neutral palette and the pan sizes look really small. I don't know exactly how much product you get per pan because it's it's only out for pre-order on Amazon, but I'm really not interested. So yeah, that one's gonna be a hard pass. Okay, so the Narcissist and Ur Urdem? Urdem collection is coming out April 12th. So that's, I think, tomorrow when I'm feeling this. Okay, so it's online April 12th and then in stores April 30th. I might hold off to see this in stores. But I'm really interested in the one eyeshadow palette that has the yellow and the green. 
the rest seems a bit neutral so i'm really interested in that one eyeshadow palette and then i think this is a highlighter or a blush let me see see i can't tell because not everything is really um labeled the best but i think this is a blush but it could probably also be used as a highlighter it's like this light peachy pink tone and i love the packaging and i haven't tried a nars blush or a highlighter so i really want to grab that one i'll just throw a picture up here so that you know what i'm talking about without having to find the name because nothing's labeled so smashbox is coming out with a new collaboration with vlad vlada mua i believe is how you say their name and it's two highlighters that look gorgeous but i really don't think either of these tones would work well with my skin tone and also i think they're 39 dollars each that's a lot of money i mean i will say the packaging looks stunning even the box carton looks amazing the compacts look beautiful i think it's executed very well but i don't think either of these shades would look good on me so i'm gonna go just go ahead and pack that one up we finally saw the inside of the Kerry Washington and Neutrogena collaboration and ugh, I'm a little disappointed. I might try out the Essential Cheek palette because it's got like a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter but that eyeshadow palette is one of the most boring things I've ever seen unfortunately so i'll keep my eyes out i really want to see if i can find this in like my local cvs because they do have a big neutrogena section if they do i will pick up that face palette to try it out but i'm gonna pass on the eye palette that's just i was expecting just a little bit more something i'm definitely going to be passing on is the new laura lee and morphe cosmetics brush collaboration i did in the past go and buy the jaclyn hill brush set and after using all the brushes, I find that I really only liked a couple of them. It definitely wasn't worth the full price of the set. The really, I only used like three brushes and then the brush case that it actually came in. I think Morphe is so hit and miss that to put that much money into a collection or a collaboration is, it's a waste. It's a waste. I really think you need to watch reviews, look for exactly what you need, find the brush, you know, look up pictures, look up reviews, and get just those individual brushes. Because if you buy a set like this, you're going to end up with a lot of brushes that are scratchy, that shed, that don't work well. And you end up with only three or four brushes that you like for the, like for the price of the whole set. So through personal experience, I find that these sets really aren't worth it. So I'm definitely going to be passing on this one. I do have a brush declutter coming up where I do declutter the majority of my Jaclyn Hill brush set. If it is out, I'll go ahead and link it up below. If not, it is definitely coming, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever that video goes up. Oh, something I was really disappointed in because I've been waiting for a new Urban Decay palette. Urban Decay is coming out with the Light Beam palette. It's just a bunch of neutrals again with like a salmon in the middle. If you cover up that salmon, it's the most neutral, neutral palette I've ever seen. I really want another like good palette from Urban Decay. Like they came out with the heavy metals, which I mean, it was still kind of boring and the packaging was a little strange. And now they come out with this light beam. I appreciate that it's a smaller palette. I think it's a really good idea, but I don't appreciate the color selection. If they had come out with a smaller like neon electric palette, how amazing would have that been? Like, like picture a smaller version of any of their colorful palettes. That would have been amazing. It would have been affordable. That would have been, I would have run out and bought it like the day of, but this one, I don't know what's going on with like the neutral train. I understand that you need to have a good amount of neutrals like in a brand, in a collection, but Urban Decay, you have all of the naked palettes. Why are you still doing neutral? You, you've mastered the neutrals. You need to move on. Make something colorful that's permanent, please. Ooh, an update on a Kylie release. Kylie just released, I believe yesterday, all of her new lip kits. I did purchase Ironic, the army green that i'm super excited about so i did purchase that i'm waiting for it to come in the mail i can't wait definitely be wearing it in an upcoming video so keep your eyes out for that something i am actually really interested from nyx it looks like nyx is coming out with a whole new line of eyeshadow palettes i really hope these do not go the way of like their 
what are they called the elements palettes where they were like $30 for a NYX palette and they weren't the best quality but if these are more affordable and I see the inside of a few more of them I will be picking a couple of them up it looks like there are a couple called machinist there's one called steam one called ignite and one called grind I love the whole aesthetic of like the industrial revolution that's going on here and the picture I have here is of the inside of ignite and that's actually beautiful it's some nice rose tones it's a little bit warm but also a little bit cool I I just love that aesthetic I'm really interested in seeing the inside of the rest of these palettes because I definitely want to pick one up if it's affordable. If it's another $30 palette from NYX, then NYX needs to get its shit together. You can't release these palettes that aren't up to the standards of a $30 palette. Come on. And the last thing I will talk about this week is the new Becca Cosmetics highlighter. The packaging is stunning. I love the white like flying saucer feel that it has and it's called Cream Dreamsicle. It's called Dreamsicle. It's a soft tangerine shade. I don't know how this would look on my skin tone personally. I really want to see it in store and swatch it but it's stunning. It's stunning. Based on the pictures that I've seen and the swatches that I've seen this looks incredible on more deep skin tones. But for me, I would definitely have to swatch it and try it out before I just jump in and buy a highlighter that I, I don't think is really geared towards me. But I have to say, that packaging, I don't know what it is about like the matte white packaging that just really draws me in. Like I'm really interested in this even though I know it might not work for me. So that's everything for this week's edition of Wishlist or Washout. Don't forget to like this video if you like these videos every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you again so much for 400 subscribers. I I'm ecstatic that I've gotten to this point. I love making these videos. I love everything about it and I love and appreciate every single one of you. So thank you again and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.